Welcome, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore, ringside with Teddy Atlas. We have a big night of boxing ahead. Plus, so many are looking forward to our undercard. It is the pro debut for the much-heralded Andre Bishop. The middleweight will be facing the crafty veteran Lucius Palmer. All from here, the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago right now. Power puncher facing a high stamina guy, a well-conditioned guy. How can the well-conditioned fighter best guard his body so that the power puncher isn't targeting him? Well, move it. Get on his bicycle a little bit. Don't stay right in front. If that power puncher is the power puncher, that's his strength. But his weakness is he probably has to have you right in front. Give him angles. He took a shot. But he came back with a right hand of his own. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. A little head hunting with the right. Good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Andre Bishop. Looks to the head. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. How about that exchange? Bishop's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination score. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Palmer. We got it. That was an interesting first round for Andre Bishop, the American making his pro debut here. Teddy, Lucius Palmer's the kind of guy that could give a young up-and-comer like Bishop some issues. He likes to steal the end parts of the round, kind of like Ray Leonard did against Marvin Hagler. Has to be careful for that. Andre Bishop's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands in his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that the opponent hasn't recovered. Nice exchange. Both right hands landed. Andre Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. You know, Bishop's opponent has set a pretty good pace here tonight, and I don't think Bishop has reacted well to it. He's fading it. Yeah, he's got his mouth open a little bit. There's two problems there. One, you're telling your opponent, I'm tired. The other is you have your mouth open. That's a loose joint now. You get hit on the jaw, you can get a broken jaw. Well-targeted counterpunch by Palmer. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Scores with the combo to the head. Palmer's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Palmer's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just getting away from that right hand, is really costing him a lot here. Well, it's pretty simple. The old timers would say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you. Nice one, too, by Andre Bishop. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. You need to move your head more, okay? Side to side. Lean to the side. Boom. Counter punch. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way.
nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. And now he scores well with a straight right. Right to the body. A solid uppercut by Andre Bishop. Bishop's hit by a counter punch there. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Lucius Palmer. Putting his punches together. Good combination by Andre Bishop. Get your hands up. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Bishop's really in a groove right now, landing that straight punch. Well, what he's doing is he's staying outside at the right distance. He's getting his opponent, you know, sort of lean in a little bit, and then bang, that straight punch. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Wow! Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this way things kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. It has been a very consistent night by Andre Bishop. He has built up a lead on the scorecards and nothing but good praise coming from trainer Gus Carissi. And he has such a cushion. Don't be shocked. It happens in this business, believe me. If his trainer doesn't tell him, you know what? Work with him a little bit. Don't get careless, but work on things. Carry him a little bit. Get some rounds. Good right hand. Oh, and they decide to trade there. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Andre Bishop's three-punch combination there is gonna impress the judges. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Palmer's going with a completely different style now. Teddy, I don't know that that's necessarily the bad thing, but clearly he's thinking to himself, hey, I was just knocked down. I got to change something. Yeah, sometimes you have to improvise. You know, Costamato, my mentor, he used to tell me the real good ones, they make it up as they're going. Right now, he's making it up as he goes. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Last minute of this last round. Palmer's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Andre Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Well, as if it's right on cue, Lucius Palmer here at the end of the round, flurrying against Andre Bishop. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Teddy, who would have ever thought it? Two guys like this, brawlers, punchers, that it would go to a decision. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you thought you were going to get a firework display, and you wind up getting a little bit of painting. in the Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly 
a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. Kid. I don't believe in building a record fight in Oprah. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make mistakes. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateurs no more. You got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. And I'm gonna help you get there. We're gonna take some fights against decent guys. And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm going to be impressed. But if you can't at least put them on the canvas, I'm going to be disappointed. Got it, kid? I want to see these guys on the floor. The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the world championship tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event. A much anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. Joe Tessitore we and Teddy Atlas with the you ringside room. here at the Let's State good, Palace Theater in New Touch Orleans. Mike Walker is lined up for Andre Bishop in Bishop's second fight of his pro career. Of course, he won in his pro debut against Lucius Palmer, now trying to make it two in a row. Hits him in the mug with the right. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Solid right by Walker. And now he's targeting upstairs. Bishop showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Walker's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Walker. Bishop's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Mike Walker. Will you look at this? Mike Walker's hurt, big shot there. Well, you knew his opponent Finish could track, and now he knows too. He is down. And right now, he's actually thinking about what he's going to do. Am I going to get up? He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Bishop's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Throws a counter punch there. Right to the head with that right. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Let's give a very honest assessment as to where Andre Bishop is in his career right now. Facing a guy like he is tonight, Mike Walker, he should annihilate him. Yeah, he should, but it's not just about that. It's how he does it. He should go through, but you want to see him go through in an effective, efficient way where he looks like a future champion. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Aren't you hit? Bishop's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. 
flush right hand to the head. Walker's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. It is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. Needs to slip to the left. Bishop's right hand scores well that time. Each man able to land an uppercut. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Walker's hit. Oh, that's got to hurt. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Little head knocking with that right hand. Exchange was something special. Bishop's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Mike Walker. Walker's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. But I want you to... Andre Bishop just dominating that last round, scoring the knockdown. They don't want to get ahead of themselves, though, Teddy. I know Gus Carissi is always cautious when it comes to any moment in the fight, whether you're up or down. Oh, he's a pro. He's a real teacher. And he knows that it can turn around real quick. You get careless, all of a sudden your opponent can put you where you had him. So he's going to make sure you go out there, you do it the right way. Walker's out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged. But what about those 60 seconds in the opposing corner, Ted? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, when we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him. But he's not going to show you. He's going to act like a pro. He's going to con you. He's going to act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he showed it, even if he's not showing it. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. It seems to me that Bishop is right now uncomfortable with the pace that's being set in this fight. Well, he started the pace. See, that's the funny thing about it. He said it, but he might not be able to keep it up. Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Good shot to the head. Walker's legs look shaky. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Wow, he goes down again. This is going to be caught the elevator fight. Up and down all night. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that champ going.